First question is from Grow with Lulu. What are the best things to do when taking an active rest day? Active rest day. First, we should define that, right? So a rest day in this particular context is a day where you're not doing your structured workout routine. Active meaning you're not just sitting there laying down and resting. You're doing something active, but that's not structured exercise. Yeah, which all mean, rest you know, days should be active. Yeah, which means point. it could be a bunch of different things, yeah. Yeah. right? I mean, you could use, depending on who you are, like, you know, maybe you need something that's way more restorative and you're doing like yoga or, you know, meditating. Uh, maybe you don't need something so restorative. And so you do something like a hike outside for a couple hours. Like there's, uh, or it's a complete mobility day because you've been yeah. strength training really hard. So it could be a lot of different yeah, things. Yeah, I think the question is, right, which the best? And So how would you rank what the best is? I personally, okay, so we could sit there and say, all right, if the person requires more mobility, if they require more conditioning, if mm -hmm. their goal is fat loss, muscle building, then this would be the best you know, prescription or whatever recommendation. But I never, I don't want to say never, when I got better as a trainer, I, I stopped looking at thing that way, things that way, except for my super hardcore performance uh, driven uh, you know clients. Most of my clients, the goal really was overall health and longevity. In other words, consistency over a long period of time. It's not just about training for an event. It's rather mm -hmm. like, how do I do this long term, enjoy it and make myself feel healthy and good in the long term, build muscle, burn body fat and feel great. In which case the criteria was what are you going to enjoy the most? Yeah, that, That's really it, right? Because there is no wrong answer here unless you're hurting yourself or training yourself inappropriately. I think active rest days should be based entirely over what you enjoy because that's going to keep you the most consistent and, in my opinion, give you the best long-term effect. So, like, maybe you maybe you would benefit more from, you know, mobility, but, man, you really enjoy hiking and going outdoors, and it's that enjoyment is probably more likely to keep you consistent on these active days, these active rest days. And that enjoyment, there's a lot of health benefits you get from that as well, especially when you're doing it with people that you like to be with. You know? Yeah, that, I mean, that's probably the most important thing. Uh, however, like if you have an athlete, too, where like I would probably try to have them focus a bit on some of the movement and skill that would apply. So doing things at a very low intensity, mm. but uh, being able to kind of mechanically go through those movements so you're still um, basically like teaching your body these movements and, and repeating them constantly, which then sort of solidifies it uh, so it becomes part of the subconscious uh, at that point. But in terms of like your average person just trying to recover, just light, expressive movements, any time that you can... I think personally, like being able to do things you normally don't do in terms of movements. So being able to articulate your joints and like rotate them a bit more and focus on that kind of stuff, I think uh, will help uh, in terms of being able to, uh, uh, you know, provide stability and support. Yeah, I don't I don't know how much I agree with you on this one, Sal. Um, not because you don't make good points, but because we people a lot of times do the things that they, they like to do and they neglect the things they probably should do. Uh, I don't know how many times I've had a client who has got a very high stress job and is burning the candle at both ends and their active recovery day is going out for a hike, but I would much rather see them do a yoga class for an hour. Or I've got a client that is hardcore consistent with their training, but they and they train heavy consistently. And then they their active recovery maybe is a sport they love to do and they love to go play basketball, but I need them to address and work on their mobility. Well, yeah, people so, can eat perfect diets too, but we don't tell people to follow a perfect diet because it's Yeah, but I don't I, like I think saying a blanket statement like just do what you love to do on active recovery day is not what's best for you. Um, in the context of what is going to keep you active physically for the rest of your life, generally speaking, and most people could be better at being more active. Okay, you, you have a point there. And that's got to be number one, right? Sure. It's the inconsistency that's the biggest yeah, thing. Yeah, but on. sure. I, I still think that what someone asking this question is seeking, though, is like, okay, I, I, I hear what you guys are saying. I hear the, the benefits of active recovery. Okay, now tell me what I, I should potentially be doing. Now that is going to vary and depend on the person. Like if they, if you were training them and your client specifically asked you that, mm -hmm. I don't think my answer would just be, "Oh, do whatever you want, do what you love to do." I would, I would assess 
what their what their lifestyle is like, and I would give them a recommendation that I think would be most so, beneficial. So you're taking now, it as like a like a, they're asking you more of a structured active rest day. Like, what should like I a do? Prescriptive one. Yeah, yes. more pre- I think prescriptive is a word, not structured. It doesn't mm-hmm. have to be so structured. Where I'm like, hey, for, I want you to hike for no, this. No, minute. It's no, like that's what I mean. I mean, like, yeah, like it's just prescriptive. To their yeah, goals. it's like okay. okay um, you know, yes, I agree with you being active and enjoying activity. Like, yeah, by all means, like, I think that has tremendous value. But if I have a client who I I'm in tune with their, their, their habits, I know their needs as far as movement. Um, and you or, know, they're going to do what you tell them. Yeah. And they're asking a question like this. They're saying, okay, Adam, what do you want me to do after recovery day? What's the best thing for mm-hmm. me? I'm going to give to them what I think is most beneficial. So for this person, since we don't know you, you need to. You have to have this self awareness to know: Am I somebody who burns a candle at both ends, and I'm I'm more guilty of pushing myself too hard, and maybe I need to work more inward for my day off? Maybe it looks like a sauna, jacuzzi, cold plunge, meditation type of day, or am I somebody who is got a very sedentary lifestyle because I work at a desk nine to five, and so I would have tremendous benefit from just going on a nice, easy, leisurely walk for two hours or something. So. I mean, for an active recovery day, it could be all the things we're talking about. And I think, Mm -hmm. yes, to your point, trying to choose things that are going to keep you consistent. But I also think that you there's there are things that each, the individual could be doing on that active recovery day that will benefit them more than yeah. other things. If I know yeah. they're going to do it, it's like if someone asked me what's the best diet or what's the best form of cardio. Like there's there's two answers. One is the best for you. Mm. Two is the one you're going to do the most consistently, right? And for most people, the challenge is about consistency, which is why you know I answer it that way. But you know the yeah. benefits of active recovery are that you recover faster. It's healthier for you. I used to think that the best way to recover was to do nothing. Yeah, you, you have hard work well, and then no, do nothing. Blood flow, like that's. Yeah. I mean, that's all part of the healing process. It's that, it's it's not true. Movement facilitates recovery far better than yeah. just sitting and laying in bed. That was a huge mistake. Yeah, that's why I think too. Like if you're just painting a broad stroke, like it, yeah. uh, why I'm I'm more inclined to kind of tell people to move laterally or twist. It's just because like it's just not something you're programmed to do, especially in your programming for strength training. A lot of people don't consider those things. So to be able to at least you know, try to focus on maybe like two things you can do. That'd be an easy yeah, one. What's your guys' favorite forms of active recovery? Like, what do you actually do when you're doing active recovery? Well, so I, I think I actually bounce between all the things we're talking about right now. I There might be, and, I, and then the way I decide is kind of based off of what my week or my life, where it's currently going. Is it pretty yeah. balanced or are you more likely to do one thing like over the other? No, I, I'm more likely to do what I think is best for me. I have really? the discipline to say, you know, but does that mean, has there ever been a time where I know this is what's totally best for me and then I ended up doing something else? Like, sure, that happens. But I try and make the decision on my active recovery days, the thing that I probably need most or what I should potentially add into yeah, my routine. Yeah, I'm way more with workouts consistent, like with what I, you know, but when it comes to active recovery, I, I just love walking and hiking. It, I just get so much out of it. Uh, yeah. I don't know, non-physically, right? Emotionally, spiritually, whatever you want to say, going outside, being with my kids and, and my wife. Mm-hmm. So that's almost like nine out of 10 times if I'm doing something active recovery, it's that. It's walking or hiking. That's the low-hanging fruit for me. Like It's the easy one. To me, it's like the default, uh, I should do X, Y, or Z. I don't really feel like it. Well, the bare minimum, I'm going to go move yeah. because I know that will facilitate uh, recovery and it'll yeah. help. It'll burn calories. There's p- benefits to it for that specific day, and then also the recovery process. So to me, the the go for a nice walk with Katrina or something is the bare minimum yeah. I'll do, and then I'm probably trying to do some yeah, of the it's other. It's funny because I don't even think of like I don't think of the calorie burn or any of that stuff. I just like hey, let's go do something, and mm-hmm. I like doing this thing, and it's and it's moving. I don't want to just sit. Oh, down. I do. I definitely think now because I, I'm so aware, um, and I think mainly because of uh, the business now, never in my life have I uh, been so uh, sedentary. Uh, easily know, crazy? in this job, I easily could string a week together, a whole week, where maybe I average 2,000 steps in a day. Like if it's a crazy, Easy. we're on calls, we're flying places, we're doing stuff like that, and we're not really walking around very much, or maybe I didn't get in very many workouts this week, I can look back and go, holy shit, I only walked 2,000 steps. So, And I know what a difference that, that is on, on a just an activity for calorie burn for me that I'm like, dude, oh, I, need you're to get, training, I need to get out and just move. Well, when you're training clients in a gym, 
I was doing 10,000 oh, steps on my eyes closed. And yeah. you're picking up weights and moving them around and all that. Totally. Yeah, it all adds yeah. up. I so. never, this is the first time in my life I ever yeah. sat down. Obviously, I enjoy doing this, so I'm not complaining, but I never sat down this much in my no, entire I life at work. I never sit down at home. Yeah. And that's just kind of as a result of, of being in this environment. I'm very yeah. conscious of that. Yeah. Being out, standing up, walking around, picking things up, you yeah. know, and being like productive at, at home because it's just like, I need the movement. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.